Hey everyone, so uh, we're mixing it up today. Uh, we're gonna play against a viewer playing AJ. He's been a uh, member in the Discord for a while. I think he's been watching my videos for a while too. So uh, sounds like it's gonna be a battle of the dads today. We're gonna see whose dad is stronger. I think we're both busy dads. So this should be fun. Okay, yeah, Carl Khan, okay. Um, I don't remember the correct response to this. I actually, can't say that I can't remember because I don't actually know. But I'm just going to go for the pawn defense on e4 here. I believe taking is a trap here in this line. From what I know. Cool. So a quick trade there. And I will actually take the knight trade. And then I need to, or do I want to take the knight trade? Maybe the knight trade is a trap because it opens up the line for the king. I mean, I guess I can always just block with the bishop and the knight here on e2. So I'll go for it, but it feels very trappy. Right, so he has, let's see, this diagonal here. Something I need to keep in mind. And I don't want to block this pawn either. Something tells me he's done this a time or two. Hmm. Could always defend the pawn this way and then bring up the bishop if needed. If he goes something like b4. So I'll do that, play a developing move. Uh, I could have always given check, but then that would hang the d4 pawn here. I'll go ahead and just protect that with the bishop. I don't want to recapture with the queen here because that would uh, hang the pawn. So I'll just defend. And then I'll probably just kick his bishop on the next move. Shout out to all the wives and the grandmas that are watching the kids at the moment. I think that's what both of us are doing right now. My one kid is sleeping and the other is at grandma's house. And I think his AJ's wife, uh, wife is uh, watching his kids. So big shout out. <laughs> okay. Any reason not to take back with the bishop here? I suppose if I do take with the bishop. Um, he can always bring his queen out, but then I can always always block on e3 with my dark square bishop too. So far, a very tradey game. I have to keep in mind that his queen is not uh, attacking my pawn here on d4 anymore. Something to keep in mind. This is uh, one of the rare instances that I kind of have some free time to myself during the day on a weekend, which is nice. Always happy about that. Cool, cool. I'll go ahead and castle and just get my king out of harm's way here. And then I think my next move will just be something like rookie one or potentially getting the bishop out to a bit uh dark square bishop's been very inactive okay so he goes for the castle too okay so that's that's cool mm, okay i think now we just need to start getting pieces out and developing 
I'm going back and forth between E3 and F4. Um, I like E3 because it's a centralizing move. I like F4, but... Oh, the thing I don't like about E3 is that it kind of blocks the bishop in this way. He doesn't really have a whole lot of room to breathe. I wonder if we just trade pawns off. No, it's too early. It's too early. Hmm. We go f4. Not really gaining anything by going f4. Not at least, not not at the moment at least. Hmm. <laughs> this is just one of those positions where there's not like an amazing threat to make. Let's think. e5, c5 are defended by the pawn. His knight can't really jump. Um, hmm. I'll just go here, whatever. Probably debated that a lot more than I needed to. A minute and a half on that one move, just to put a bishop on a passive square. <laughs> Don't know if that was the play, but I just don't know what else I had there. A lot of thinking going on at the moment. Okay, so it looks like he's kind of eyeing the b-pawn here. Um, that is kind of the one downside to getting the bishop off of its starting square, is that it weakens the b-pawn. So I will move it up one square. I won't fall for that. Interesting. Kind of tempted to just move the bishop back to e3. I know it's kind of a waste of time, but move the bishop back to e3. And then think, start thinking about trading off. Hmm. Or maybe I can just play some other pieces. Also, his bishop is hanging here in the middle of the board. On e7 there, so I think I'll just attack it. I think this will force him to move it. He'll probably defend it with something uh, like moving the uh, f8 rook over to e8. Yeah, okay, I kind of figured, saw that coming. Okay, so far so good. I think I'll just move back and then try to attack his queen, force his queen around a little bit. He doesn't have any weak pieces. All of his pieces are defending one another at the moment. Mm, okay. Yeah, pawn push, yeah. Probably should have seen that coming, huh? Yeah, so he's going to win this trade if I go after this, so... I wonder if there's another way that... I can... harass his queen. I don't have a knight anymore, which is a little bit of a bummer. <clears throat> so I think I have to be really protective of my bishops. If he puts his... Uh, if I were to take the pawn and he takes uh, recaptures my pawn, uh, he's got two pieces attacking b3 now, which is going to be... Well, that's fine, I guess. 
I have two pieces defending b3 too, so maybe that's not the end of the world. Hmm. Um, hmm. This does open up the file as well, which I need to be mindful of. Hmm. He's only got one attacker on d4, and I have two defenders, so I'm almost tempted to just let him let him take that. I'd rather his pawn go to d4. And maybe I'll just protect that square with another piece. No, I think I'll just push the pawn up. I want to avoid exposing this file uh, for the rook to see my queen. Yeah, it seems like the play. Yeah, I haven't done the calculation thoroughly in my head, but I think if I would have taken that pawn, I would have lost the exchange because my queen would have been in danger and I'd be forced to move my queen and then I think he would be able to capture another piece. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of my naive calculation there. Okay, cool. Uh, so he might push, I imagine. Hmm, how would he do that move? What does that do? What does that do? Maybe I bring my queen up a little bit, huh? Don't really want to push the G pawn. Yeah, I want to protect my bishops this game. Hmm. I guess I'll just activate the queen. Make her a little bit more active. I probably have to defend this pawn now, I imagine. Um, how can he do that? Yeah, obviously he's not going to push because I just take. And I don't, let's see, can he defend this pawn? Uh, I think his only option is really just pushing the g-file pawn, right? Maybe his plan was to let his bishop out at some point, somehow. Hmm. Maybe I don't fully understand that move. Maybe that's okay. Misclick, perhaps? Hmm. I don't know. Something that I've been doing in a lot of games is being really lazy about developing the A rook. Um, so I think in this game, I'm going to try to make the rooks a little bit more active. Um, I've just noticed in a lot of the games that I've played recently this week is that this A rook tends to just sit here. And my thought process is that I just want a defender for the A pawn. Um, but maybe it's more important for the rooks just to be active in the center than it is to protect the one lowly pawn. What to do, what to do.
Hmm. Yeah, nice fork there. Nice fork indeed. I wonder if there's any way I can just threaten him a little bit. Obviously, he's going to win a bishop here, and I just win a pawn from this exchange, which is kind of lame. I wonder if I have anything else more forcing. Yeah, that's a good move by him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good move. I guess now that I look at it, I probably should have went C2 with the queen to put this, uh, to attack this pawn on F5 here, now that we're looking at it. So, bit of a blunder here. So, nice move there, AJ. Nice move. He'll be up on material here now, too. I'll be shocked if he doesn't recapture this, but you never know. Yeah, so that was kind of like a guaranteed move. Oh, it looks like we're pretty much even on material here. I'm up one pawn, which is good. I'll take any advantage that I can get. Happy about that. Okay, so far so good. Hmm. Let's see. Threaten the queen. Take with the pawn. I don't want to disconnect the pawns. And this threatens his queen and forces his queen to move, right? Let me think about this. Is this just super obvious or am I missing something? No, I want to keep the pawns connected. And this bishop is defended here. I don't think he would capture with his rook or his queen, obviously. So... We're both playing very defensively. Neither one of us is playing very aggressively so far. <laughs> We're playing very skittishly. And yes, that is a word. Skittishfully. Skittishful chess. Mm-hmm. Kind of tempted to take the rook for some reason. <laughs> just force him to take it, right? Because <laughs> if I just take his bishop, he just takes... Let's think about this. So if I take... He takes the queen. Mm. Really tempted to take the rook. I wonder if the order of operations really matters here. Any reason not to trade? Hmm. Well, let's see. If I don't take this, he will have a nasty move on F2. Boom, boom, boom. So if I deliver check on E8, he's forced to take. So after he takes, I can just take his bishop. He recaptures. But then what I don't like is that he will have a rook on the open file. Hmm.
think I just have to go for this. I like this direction better. <clears throat> now his queen is kind of in not such a good position, so maybe we can just attack his queen a little bit, force her to move around a little bit, and then push a pawn up as well. I just don't love the rook trade, I'd rather just pressure his high value pieces. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. Maybe I should have thought about that move a little bit more, but... C3 is defended by the queen. He does have eyes on F2. I need to be mindful of that. There is also this idea for uh, d1, which will force the trades. And then since I'm uh, protecting d1 with my queen. OK, so I believe he's just protecting his uh, b7 pawn there. Um, so if I, I think if I go d1, this would f I can also attack his queen this way too. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of just making his queen dance around. Kind of making him lose some moves. Lose some tempo and then kind of get start pushing my pawns up the board. What I'm really hoping for this game is that I can just get my queen on something like b8 after the rooks have been traded and just take advantage of the fact that he hasn't given an escape square to his king yet. Back rank mate would be pretty sick here. Depending on where he puts his queen, I might just go for the rook d1 idea here. Okay, so he's just looking to get this pawn here. It's a bit of, bit of a forced move, right? Hmm. Let's see, if I go h1, his queen is still in danger. And then even if he takes the rook, I can take the more valuable piece. So that is an idea. Also, I believe if I just take on e1. Oh no, he's defending e8, never mind. I was thinking I could just send my queen to e8. But that's not going to happen. I really want to move my king to h2. And just try this idea. I think I can win the rook. Hmm. Shouldn't I just take the rook? I mean, isn't isn't the rook recapture just more valuable here? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think he's I don't think he's gonna give up his queen so easy, so I guess I'll just have to take there, huh? And I'll probably just go for the pawn. That's fine. But then I can uh, recapture a pawn here too.
This is fine. Very passive game. <laughs> I think we're both very defensive players. <laughs> Not a lot of exciting attacks. <laughs> yeah, we're both playing it very safe. Yeah, if his queen wasn't defending e8, I'd be more tempted to go something like e3 with the queen and then look for the back rank. But a free pawn is a free pawn. Maybe I just go e7 next. Having a queen and the rook on the 7th rank might be pretty deadly. Yeah, I haven't really been able to find like any sick tactics this game. Um, he did find the one nice fork on the queen and the bishop, but other than that, I haven't really been able to spot any like really good tactics. Not ones that, uh, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, there's been pretty much no tactics. <laughs> Just the one fork. What to do, what to do. If I was in AJ's shoes... I'd be really tempted to. Okay, so he wants to trade trade these off. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to... Um, I actually just want to go e7 so I can recapture there. That's kind of what I want to do. I know his queen's going to just retake on e8 here. I want to try forcing him into maybe some position that he's not going to be comfortable with so much. Hmm. Also, I could just let him take. I could let him take, and then I can just go h2, and then I can just win. Could also kind of like block his queen in. Yeah, I kind of want to just take advantage of the fact that his king can't escape yet. So, but I don't know. I like e7. I also like this idea of just blocking his queen in. There's a few ideas here. But, well, let's see. If we trade off and he recaptures with the queen, I can win another pawn. And I can probably push these pawns up the board. I mean, my pawns are much more advanced than his. Uh, you know what? I think we'll just do that. Hmm. E7. Where does he really go after E7? Because after E7, where would he go? Hmm. I mean, yeah, he can deliver check. I guess he could check and take, but even then I would just recapture on e7, right? I'm just going to try this e7 idea. I don't know. For some reason, I just think it's going to work. I think if I were him, I would maybe just move the queen, uh, his king over and defend the bishop. At, or, man, what am I saying? I'm like blundering all my English. Move his king over and defend the rook. That's what I'm trying to say. They'll probably go like h6 here, maybe. So far, all of my move predictions have been wrong. <laughs> Minus the one. Minus the one knight move. Uh, no, no way. I didn't predict, predict that one. Never mind. Yeah, man, maybe I should have just went for the trade and taken the pawn, huh? I do have some nice past pawns here, so... 
It's something to consider. And since I have a defender for this rank here too, I could kind of just take this pawn and trade off queens as well. Not the worst idea. Yeah, okay, so I kind of saw that coming. So h2 was basically forced. Ah, you know. Hmm. Ah, I think he's planning on going d6 next, and so he just wins. Hmm. But even then, I think I can just win with the back rank, right? Because then his queen, either his queen or his rook would be forced up to either d8 or e8, but I could just take those one by one, right? So I'll be shocked if he doesn't go d6 here. He's probably calculated this through more than me. Looks like both of us are using all of our time to make some moves here. Not really blitzing moves out, which is good. Yeah, I'm expecting d6 next from his queen. Feeling a lot better today, by the way. Yeah, okay, so I kind of saw that coming. Uh, so he's just going to retake with the queen. Yeah, so I kind of miscalculated this. Yeah, I miscalculated, I miscalculated. So he's got two attackers here, so he's going to be way up. Um, let's think. He'll take with the queen here and then deliver check as well. And I really just want to get on his back rank somehow. I'm so close. Let's see, he'll take with the queen. I'll still be in check. Hmm. Any reason not to do this? Hmm. The piece is lost, so I think I'd rather just have his queen be on e5, right? Yeah, I don't know. This is really tough. Uh, yeah, he's obviously going to retake with his queen. I'll still be in check. I'll force be forced back. <clears throat> yeah, so he's going to have a really big advantage here. <clears throat> I think I think rookie seven was just too aggressive. I think it was just too aggressive. I think I should have just played a little bit safer. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that he just gets his rook off of the back rank. Yeah, rookie seven definitely wasn't the move. I think that was too risky. Very risky move. I didn't calculate the fact that um, he would go, what was it, uh, d1, d6. That was a nice move by him.
Interesting. Do I just start pushing pawns up the board? I think I'll just try to push some pawns up the board. <laughs> Hope for the best. I'm not too worried about <clears throat> this A pawn at the moment. <clears throat> Yeah, he he finally gave his uh, king room to breathe here, so so that is good. I'll probably take. I was expecting that. Yep, yep. I think, oh, GG. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, nice one, AJ. I didn't see that move. Uh, feels bad. Yeah, I didn't see that coming in, yeah. Yeah, GG, so let's do the game review. One blunder, yeah. <laughs> that was the move, huh? Yeah, figured. That was my mid-game analysis as well. <laughs> I think it was really close. Wow, so I actually had quite <laughs> quite a big advantage and I just threw it out the window. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't realize, yeah. That I had these pass pawns and I, I think I could have won with the pass pawns. So let's just see what would have happened. So obviously he would have taken here. And then I still have a really big lead, but the question is what I've been able to follow up with it. Queen seven sure. So take the pawn. Do the check. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I'm so angry with myself. <laughs> it's not so frustrating. Yeah, it's doing the trade there definitely would have been the play. Because I would have been up two points of material here, sure. So I just had to wait, yeah. Two pass pawns. Yeah, that, that would have been that would have been the move. Well, let's just go through the game review and see if um if everything was okay kind of up to that point. I'll just skip the first few moves. Okay. Hmm. C4. Why would you go C4? Isn't that just a free pawn? I won't I won't think too hard into that. Good move, good move. And it really wants me to push that pawn up. What's the deal with that? Man, why did it want C4 so bad? I don't really understand. <clears throat> Let's not think about it too much. And then, yeah, I'm surprised this is an excellent move considering he had that fork afterwards. This loses a pawn. Yeah, but doesn't he gain a bishop though? Hmm. So taking with the bishop was the right idea here. Yeah, and I was going back and forth a lot here between either taking the bishop or trading the bishop off or trading rooks off. So let's just see what would have happened here. I mean, <clears throat> in this case. And then rook d1. Okay, realistically speaking, I would have went there just knowing me, me being me. Hmm. And then yeah, he just has the recapture. And then I have rook d1. Yeah, so that was my original idea. Um, I was talking about this line. Uh, I just chose not to go with it. Oh, well. <clears throat> That's fine. So capturing with the bishop there was fine. So attacking the queen, bit of a forcing move. Attacking the queen. 
<clears throat> I had a recapture there. So we traded off pawns here. That's good. Ugh, oh, and then that one fateful move. <laughs> That's such a bummer. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, really nice move by him here to d1. I just failed to realize that he could get an extra attacker uh, onto e7 there by going d1, d6. So really good move by him. And that delivered check as well. So really good string of moves from AJ here uh, in his end game. Oh, and this was the best move. Interesting. But I think all hope was lost after that point. Oh, interesting. Protecting with the pawn. Hmm. Pushing the pawn. Not an idea. Hmm. Okay. This is bad. Really, why is this bad? Queen E1 is an accuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten checkmate. I don't know. I thought he was tre threatening checkmate pretty well. Maybe I should have gotten my queens and my queen involved here. Maybe just offering the queen trade was the idea here, huh? Oh, sure, just defending there. Yeah. Hmm. Defending with the pawn. Hmm. Doesn't this just lose? Oh, I could have brought my queen in. Mm, I see, I see. Sure, 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 sure. Okay, cool. Well, I think we all kind of know where that game went wrong. <clears throat> the one bl blunder really just kind of did the game in. And then AJ was able to find two really good moves uh, after that. And then uh, finding checkmate after that wasn't too difficult for him. <clears throat> so yeah good game aj thanks for the game and uh yeah if you uh if anyone's watching and they ever want to like be a part of the viewer games and you're like around my elo um i usually just post when i can do this uh in my discord so make sure to join that and uh thanks for watching and i'll try to see you guys tomorrow